Today we're here with Christine Flores of the Red Rose Tables to talk about what happens next. What happens when someone passes away? What is the process? How does this thing look? How does it work? What's the journey like? But well, before I talk to Christina about this, ask her some questions. I want to share a little personal story, and I think it is probably a familiar story to anyone who's been through this. Uh, my mother-in-law passed away about five years ago, and um, she passed in a convalescent home in the middle of the night. Now, at that point, I had worked here in Brazil for 25 years, so I kind of know what's happening, how how the process works. But in the middle of the night, with family gathered. But a very senior moment, I wasn't sure what to do. And, and, and that, that feeling like, what do I do now, uh, came over me. And I certainly, for someone who's been in the business as long as I have been, to have that moment that others who you know, are not as familiar with the process, it, it's going to be a very troubling and poignant moment for them. So, so when, when uh, a call comes in and, and people think, well, I've I, I called the field home, so care needs to take care of. Are there complications? Are there other things that they need to know that might happen? Um, for, for example, in the distinct and the doctor's care and things like that. Is that, is that part of the, the process? Yes. And what's a typical response by the family at that point? So we, as the funeral home, uh, can't really do anything beyond that until the police department or the coroner has released us to do that. Is that correct? Right. Well, what is next? Well, maybe for this conversation, we assume that they have not made any great arrangements. How would that be? Okay, and at that point, are they are they uh, a Rosales family? I don't know what's the relationship with Rosales at that point. There's no free arrangements. So Rosalind would go to the home and come to wherever and, and, and transport the um, scene back to Rosalind at that point. So that would be the, a lot of decisions regarding the funeral side of the, of the business and the transaction. There's a, there's a cemetery side to that as well. Okay, so we, we've transported, we've made a, a, an arrangement, finally we've fulfilled the arrangement. We've sold it to the property. Is there anything else that the family needs to hear this at this time? Sounds like we're on the street and making um, they had a really tough emotional time. Is that been your experience? Yeah. So 
I mean, it would just seem to me that a uh, better approach that might be to the build some pre-arrangements that would that would make things a lot easier. Do you recommend that? Thank you for your time today. It's really been great, great information. And thank you.